I'm trying to give people the means to be able to look at the world. And art's not supposed to be impositional. It's supposed to fuck everything up because it, it, it becomes so useful you can't get rid of it. His work is made out of statements. And some of them are specific and some of them are general. And the beautiful thing about his work is that each of us can take that statement and make our own meaning out of it. For me, the work is fine if somebody did it with lipstick on the wall, as long as you could read it and uh, it, has, it says what it has to say. And when language reached a point that it no longer was saying what you had to say, one can develop your languages. And one developed all the gestures that are the basis for the drawing show. Those gestures are immediately understood past the point of what language can do for people. So it became language. It's all the same. includes an incredible range of Lawrence Wiener's works on paper, which is a very important but lesser known part of his artwork over the last years since the late 60s. There's a temporality to, to most things. And uh, written on the wind, is you, 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 you feel it, you do it, you place it in the world. And essentially, the, the wind carries it or it doesn't. Essentially, what you do in 2013 is really for 2013. So if it gets lost and gets picked up in 10 years, it's interesting, but it's not as useful. Art is the most useful when it's first made. And then it begins to literally enter into the culture. I essentially am a studio artist. I bring things into the studio, I work with them. If it's too large scale, I'll work outdoors, I'll work in, in situ, as they say. But I use Amsterdam more for drawing. It's a studio, it's a place where I draw. The light is absolutely special. And because we're, even with the new buildings and all close to the eye, the light is still extraordinary. This is what a notebook looks like that you'll see in the uh, exhibition. It's not usually when I'm, even when I'm on board, I don't use it that much. But it's when you're traveling here. You can see this is, there's drawings in it and things, and there's notes. When we look at his various works on paper, whether they're storyboards or notebooks or drawings um, that are drawings in them themselves or drawings for works uh, or for installations, we see how he takes his ideas and puts them into form. We see his working process. These things are not easily done. Uh, why would I take the trouble to draw something if I could explain it to you without drawing? I'm not crazy, I, but there are things I can't explain to you unless you can see it, and I draw it. Some things I can't explain to myself because the logic has not yet taken on its form and it begins to take on its form when you're drawing. Think of art as something that's floating. It doesn't have any place to go. And it keeps banging against the walls. And then it's doing its job because it's, it's shaking this up and it's making this change and it's moving around. And then one day it finds its place in the society and it slowly settles down. And that lays on the table. And that table is the accomplishments of human beings, but it's not art anymore, it's art history. Mm -hmm.